another car video <laughs> this is our vlog for the day and um today's currently sunday and i slept really weird last night like my back hurts so bad like it's just like my shoulders and like the top of my spine <laughs> it just hurts so bad and i have this problem every so often where it just gets so sore and just hurts and i took a motor this morning but it's still not helping i'm hurting um i'm not presentable but that's normal i should have took a little bit better care of myself this morning but anyway we're going um to town now we're going to barnyard oh we need to go to barnyard we haven't been barnyard forever why because it's a long drive oh yeah and i'd rather just go get this taken care of and come on okay so we are going to um bombshell and burgers today we're going to be having lunch and it's like one o'clock right now so we're gonna be having lunch we'll get there about 1 32 and um i'm gonna take you guys along i'm gonna show you what we eat and it's supposed to be a buffet we've never had it before and it's all you can eat different things which we don't need to be eating all you can eat but in the near future we'll be going to have a lot of health update videos we're gonna have a lot of weight loss videos coming soon so we're actually preparing for this whole virus this pandemic that's going on that uh, we're not going to be able to go out and eat here soon in the near future and which is probably good for us because we do eat out a lot um money wise and health reason wise um we're um expecting a lot of places to get shut down and closed so we can't go out to eat and maybe we should be going out to eat right now maybe this is the worst time possible that we could be going and eating and again you save more groceries for whenever things do get shut down yeah he's got a point we could be saving our groceries for when things do get shut down so i just i don't know um right now it's not too bad in west virginia and we don't live in west virginia we live in ohio and there's a hump in my hair i don't like it we live in west virginia or we deleted no i'm keeping that in there we live in ohio but we live in the part of ohio where we're on the border of west virginia and kentucky so when we go shop or we go out to eat <clears throat> or we go do anything we're doing it in west virginia or kentucky but the part of ohio that we live in is we just really just live here and uh, we got a few stores like dollar general the bargain bar and stuff like that in our walmart that we like going to but Mainly, we go to West Virginia, Kentucky. So, West Virginia right now, currently, don't have no cases of this virus, which I'm sure Which is a lie. You think it's a lie? Yes. Okay, let's put you in here. Why do you think it's a lie? Because they haven't even been testing anybody. I know. I've been seeing that. Nobody's got tests or anything, so there, there could be a lot of people. But, I did notice there was a post on Facebook. I shared it with you guys in my community forum, and I think somebody took it the complete wrong way of what I meant from it because I think they got offended by it. But, I want to clarify that up with you guys. When I post things, I'm not posting to offend you guys. I'm not posting to at all offend anybody. I'm posting our opinions, our thoughts, what we're going through, and what we think, and da 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 about us. Your opinions, I still support your opinions. I still support anything that you think, and I want to have a discussion, a, an adult conversation with people. I don't want it to be like childish for people to just, you know, be mean and stuff, but I want us to be able to be civil and you know, talk about things and debate, da da da. I mean, that's the that's the whole purpose of life. You debate with people, don't you? I mean, nobody's got the exact same opinion as me, and nobody's got the exact same opinion as you. Like him, he bought a Trump twenty hat. I do not support. So that is him. That's his problem. He's got going on. <laughs> and if you don't agree with Glenn, that's fine. A lot of people don't agree with these cowboy things, and I've had so many people come in Again. with me. Not my I've had so many people comment and they're like, I don't support the Cowboys. And I'm like, Bro, I don't either. I don't support nobody. <laughs> so don't come for me in the comments, please. Like, about the Cowboys, about the whole presidential stuff. I, <clears throat> I just, I don't get into it. I don't talk about it. I don't really have much of an opinion on it because I just go for the flow. Like with sports, I can care less about sports. I, I wear a Cowboys hoodie because he got it for me. He likes them, so I do for him. But I, I don't care about the Cowboys. I'm sorry. I don't care if you care for the Cowboys or not. But, I mean, I don't care if they win or lose. I don't care. We've had so many people honk and scream out the door and scream out the windows. Cowboys suck. But we've also had just as many shake my hand or say I like that sticker or, yeah, yeah another Cowboys fan. So, so people is always going to... 
the moral of my whole situation here is is that people's always going to have an opinion different than yours. And remember in Milk, me and that guy, he saw my sticker. I asked him where the bathrooms were. We talked for like 30 minutes about football. So, I mean, <clears throat> it's just the way it is. And I'm sorry, guys, we're clearing our throats and stuff. We, we're not sick. We just have allergies. And I can't get my Claritins because apparently our my doctor is just so busy that he doesn't set my prescription to Walmart for me to pick up yet. So, we do have allergies. <clears throat> but we're not sick. Um, I know they're building a new house. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. I posted on my community tab. I post, I'll read it to you guys and we're going to discuss it. Um, I like having my other phone so I can actually, you know, talk to you guys about what goes on. Um, let's see if I can find it. Um, accounts and my community tab. So if you go to my community tab, you'll see all my discussions and stuff. So I posted 12 hours ago, seen this on Facebook, thought I'd share my thoughts. I was so sick in December, spent my birthday and Christmas sicker than ever. I wasn't tested for the flu, just sent home with science infection. Had a cough for a while. What? Well, no, I say it looks like a castle. He's talking about houses being built and it is really, really pretty. And I put, I wasn't tested for the flu, just sent home with a sinus infection. Had a cough for a well into mid-January, thought I would never, or thought it would never go away. And I put, what do you think? And I had a little attachment, and I'll show you right here, this little attachment. And it was something I snipped off Facebook, and it said, quick question, everyone. Who got sick in November or December, and it lasted 10 to 14 days? With the worst cough that wouldn't go away. It was horrible. If you can answer yes, you have probably had the coronavirus. There was, or there was no testing for the flu. Oh, I can't, I'm getting car sick. I get car sick so easy. There was no test. The flu test would come back negative anyways. They called it a severe upper respiratory infection. You guys lived through that. Quit letting the media control you. Now give me back my toilet paper, sports, parades, etc. So somebody commented, and I'm not going to put you in the video. I, I just, I'm not like that. It was, you know, I, I just, I'm not, I usually put positive things in the, in my channel. Well, you can always go back and read the comments. But you can go back and read the comments and stuff. But somebody put, people are dying from this. No one cares about someone missing a game or parade or whatever. How selfish some people can be. Shake my head. I want to address this person. I don't want you to think that... I'm agreeing with that. I was just sharing that for you guys to see what I seen on Facebook, and I thought it did struck it, it struck it struck my interest because I was like, you know, um, somebody dropped that dog. Oh my god! Did we hit it? Oh my goodness! Somebody dropped the dog off, and it was just like running after a bit. Anyway, um, I don't know if they dropped the dog off, but the dog's still on the side of the road, like it was looking for its owners. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. But <clears throat> back to my community page for. Um, I don't mean to offend people. I did not mean to offend you. If you took it like I was being offensive, I'm sorry. Because I am, I'm very considerate. I know people are dying from this. I'm more considerate than he is. And I'm sitting here like, this is a serious matter. And he's like, no, it's really not. I don't know if he's just trying to like make me feel better because I do have anxiety really bad. And I worry about things a lot worse than they are. But I have been taking this very seriously. But this whole post I posted on there, it made me think. You know, Christmas Eve, I was deadly sick. Was I not severe sick for Christmas Eve and Christmas? All the way up to the new year, I was still sick. I had, if you watch my vlogs, I was hacking, coughing. You had trouble breathing. I had trouble breathing. He literally stayed up nights watching me make sure I did not, like, suffocate my own sleep. And, like, it was, it was like I was drowning, wasn't it? And that's what they're talking about this whole virus now. <clears throat> I think I caught that. I'm not saying I did. I think it's a possibility. I could have caught that back in November and December. And just like somebody see, I see it on Facebook, somebody was talking about what if we, the United States has already been affected with this and we just didn't know it and we had it during the holidays. Because everybody was... The only way you would know the difference between that and the flu is if you test for it. And they did test it and the flu came back negative. So there is a possibility, I think, that we could have got everybody in the United States could have already been affected with this. We could have already had it, and it's passed, and now we're freaking out for nothing. But we're not freaking out for nothing because there's still people dying. I'm fully aware of that. But could this be the common flu that's killing people too? Yeah. The flu kills people every year. There's because so many people. Oh, it causes pneumonia. There's so many people that die, and it's just not 
right now during this whole pandemic it's not right now we need to focus on just right now washing our hands wiping our butts we should be doing that all year long yeah should we not I, if you're not focusing on wiping your butt all year long i do not want to meet you <laughs> ever but i'm just saying like the precautions that everybody is freaking out about taking now you should be doing anyway like I am constantly how many times do we go to the store and I stock up on bleach wipes? I'm always buying bleach wipes. Yeah. We're always buying those little wipes. If you've watched my videos, you know we stockpile those up all the time because that's what we use. I'm constantly clean I go through a thing of bleach wipes a week. And I always wash my hands in a public restroom. You don't have to have a sign up to tell me that. I, I always wash my hands in our bathroom. I tell him this. Do not sit on public seats. I tell him that from the first time we met. I never sit on a public restroom seat. I will put toilet paper down. I will scrub the seat with my little bleach wipes. I do have my purse and or sanitizer. And put If I don't have bleach wipes, I'll put a little bit of sanitizer on it. Then I'll lay toilet paper and then I'll sit on it. And sometimes I don't even sit. I just kind of like hoover over a little bit and hoover pray on cruise down my pants. Hoover? 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 Uh, What's hoover? A vacuum? <laughs> I will hover over the seat and sometimes I don't do that because I don't get good self-control and I kind of drizzle all down my pants. So I stopped doing that. <laughs> but I never sat on the seat. I like, ever. I like how you made that video last as long as it took to get down here and get cigarettes. And then, I'm still talking, and then I never ever touch the doorknobs. I'm always cautious about that. Did you notice I'll kick the door open? Like I don't kick it open. I use my foot <clears> to push the door open and get out. But when you're in a bathroom, you never want to touch things in a public bathroom because that, it's just nasty anyway. I will never touch a bathroom handle. I take my paper towels with me and open the door with it and then I'll throw them back. That's just the proper hygiene you all should be doing anyway. Maybe you are doing it. I'm not directly talking to you then. But that's just overall, the world has got crazy because they're thinking now is the time we should be clean. You should be clean all year long. I've seen so many people walk out of the bathroom without even washing their hands or anything, so I don't touch them. No. But again, I did not want you guys to think that I was being rude, inconsiderate of everybody else because I am fully aware there's people dying, there's people sick, and I hate that. I hate it so much. <clears throat> but you have to think people get sick every year around. This is flu season right now, is it not? Yeah, until it warms up. It's flu season, so people is already getting sick. It's allergy season. I will be, I will be at the emergency room. I will be at the uh, urgent care probably all summer long, off and on, because I have sinus infections. I get sinus infections. What last year I got what five, six times, and every year I get sinus infections so bad. And I have a very low immune system, so when I go out with a mask on or I go out with gloves on, it's not because I'm making fun of the situation. I don't know about this situation. I have respiratory problems. I have asthma. I have breathing problems. I have immune system problems. I have a weak immune system. I have, I have issues that I need to worry about. So when you see me in videos or you see me out in public and you're like, she's got gloves on, she's just, you know, crazy. It's because I don't know what to think. I don't know if we've already had this, and I, I just don't know. Don't I'm being serious. See, he's making fun. I always make fun of you. Always. He is the type of person, guys, I want you to know, too. I want to clear up with you some of my videos. If you see him joking about matters that's actually serious, and you think that he's being inconsiderate, that's his way of dealing with things. He jokes to make it just a better atmosphere. I have dark humor. And he, just, he tries his best. That's how he deals Look, with if things. if you ain't laughing, you ain't living, so... So, um, can you get us a drink in here? You want a speed drink? No, I do not. No, I'm gonna get you a speed drink. No, can you get me a um, one of those um, what I had on the table yet? Yeah, the Starbucks, the oh, the Java thing. Yeah, I like those. I like it in the light, not the dark. But it's in a container. It's in a container. Do you want to just come in? No, it's in the it's in the cabinet. What flavor? I don't care, light. We'll see. Anyway. That is one thing I'm taking precaution on. I'm not buying fountain drinks, even though we're getting ready to go out and eat now uh, at a buffet and people's going to be preparing food. But that's different than a gas station. A gas station has lots of people going in and out. And, and I just, I, I have weird ways of dealing with this, I guess. Like, we're still eating out and we're still doing things, but um, we're being cautious. And you can't stop living. You cannot stop living because of this. And I think that's where people was getting it completely twisted because... They're, they're freaking out and 
they have a right to freak out because we don't know the media is halfway telling us what we should be thinking what we should be doing and it could be serious in what they're letting us on and i don't know i just don't know how i feel about it guys and i just don't want you to think that i'm being inconsiderate in any way because i'm not that type of person if you know i'm the most loving caring and that's just how i am and i just i i feel bad because i had i think i offended somebody and i i i've thought about that ever since i woke up and sent a comment i even responded back to him and i was like you know and explained my reasoning for saying that you know i don't agree with people worried about the praise and the sports and stuff because that's not our concern right now we're there's people dying and um but again, I am open-minded to the fact that it's flu season and maybe this virus is not that bad as everybody's making it out to be because it's just common sense. You should be clean all year long. You should wash your hands. I have hand sanitizer. Glenn has hand sanitizer. His is quicker to get to. And I'm constantly using hand sanitizer. I get onto him all the time about touching his face or chewing his nails or whatever i don't chew my nails but he does and um we're everybody has bad habits everybody has very bad habits and um actually i got these at the dollar store and they just clip onto things and you can replace them fill them up more so very good to have have it all year long not just right now during the coronavirus and maybe maybe this whole pandemic will um get people to be more aware to have proper hygiene to be more cautious of germs because germs is no joke i get sick <clears throat> if glenn is around somebody that's sick i will catch it because he brings it in on me <laughs> and i know it sounds so bad but i'm just i get on to him all the time like you've got to if somebody's sick just don't be around them at work i know that's rude mean but you just can't because i have a low immune system and I know there's others out there just like that. So, guys, I am praying for everybody to stay safe. I'm praying for everybody to stay healthy. I'm praying for everybody during these hard times because this is a hard time for us. And Glenn, <clears throat> he is from Texas. He's used to the hurricanes. If you're around the areas that have hurricanes and tornadoes and all that stuff, you're familiar with this outrage this panic of not having supplies and stuff and you all are prepared where i live at we don't have anything that keeps us from going to the store and getting you know supplies and stuff except for snow and sometimes we get snowed in for a couple days but it's never longer than a couple days so everybody around here where i live at is literally freaking out because we can't get supplies we're not used to not being able to go to the store and get supplies except for like snowstorms and like i said there's always ways to get around snow um but when you're quarantined to your house it's completely different so everybody in my area is freaking out including me because i'm not used to i've never in my life never have i ever went to a store and seen the shelves bare never and it's so scary because i think that right there is what brought like brought on my anxiety even more because i'm like oh my god oh my god we're not gonna have supplies oh my goodness <laughs> you know and that makes me have panic and i think everybody else is in panic because of that fear so i just want to clear that up to you guys and um stay safe comment below let me know where you're from and what precautions you're taking and I'm up for if you disagree with this video, comment below a healthy response, a, you know, adult response, adult response, and we can debate about it, we can talk about it, and I'm up to learning about anything and everything, and... Oh, if I got the right one, pick one, I'll drink the other. Here's what he got for us at Speedway. One's almond milk. Ooh, I want the almond milk. I've never had the almond milk. It's almond milk mocha. Ooh, so we're going to be having these. This one's caramelized vanilla honey. Ooh, so hold on, don't open it. I want to get pictures. Hold on, I gotta get pictures, guys. Wait for a minute. And we gotta close this video out. Tell me how you feel about the coronavirus, real quick. <clears throat> I feel like it's just another flu. Like, yeah, there have been some fatalities. Um, generally, when there's a virus, and this isn't being mean or anything, weaker people. Do tend to take fatal effects from it. I'm one of those weaker people. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's not a serious thing. I'm not saying that I'm not sorry that some people are passing away. You are sorry. Uh, I am sorry. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying I'm not sorry. Uh, it's just one of those things that happens. You know, you, you take it get over it you should be you, clean and, all year long and you move on you know i mean if you get sick you get sick if 
if you recover you recover and if you don't well you don't i'm not the kind of person that gets hung up on i mean you can even ask her like i don't get hung up on stuff like that to me when you live you're gonna die eventually you will always die god I, I'm, I'm just i'm a <laughs> gosh i'm a realist if you're alive at some point you're gonna die I hope we don't life, die from the coronavirus. Life is the only sexually transmitted disease with a 100% mortality rate. Meaning, everyone that is born will die. It's just the way it is. Now, I think the, I, I wouldn't want to die. Are you going to keep interrupting me? No, but I'm, I'm okay. Now, you're going to die eventually. The only important thing is how you spend them years that you have. Live every day like it's your last. Treat everybody equally. Treat everybody like you want to be treated. And you know what? Maybe you won't regret when it's your time. But to get hung... I think dying over the coronavirus, anybody's going to regret that. That's a bad time to die. To get hung up over one thing. Yeah, but we're talking about like natural causes. You're going to die from something eventually. Well, you can see we're completely two different I'm people. Not, I'm not saying that... Oh, this is the way to go. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, if I get it and I die, well, hey, it was my time. I'm not going to be upset. I'm not going to sit there and <clears throat> go out of my way to catch it. But I'm not going to go ahead and mask up and glove up. I'm just going to... You say you don't think I should be doing that either. Well, you, have a, you have a weaker immune system than I do, and you're a lot more anxious than I am. So it's good for people to take this. When you get health risk, you're talking about the common person that doesn't have risk in this. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you have health risk, by all means, quarantine yourself and stay home so you don't have to worry about nothing. But, I mean, even when she gets the flu, I don't always catch it. And my flu's really bad. I have a very, I'm, I'm a big dude, all right? I'm a big dude, but I'm extremely healthy. I have an extremely strong immune system. A lot of the times, I don't even get sick. This thing already been open. No. This is so good. I've never had the almond milk. How'd you know I like this? I figured you might. Mmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, so good. Like I said, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not something serious. I'm not saying we should be reacting like we are. I still don't understand the toilet paper thing. Like why toilet paper's Watch. flying off the shelves? I mean, everybody's just losing their minds over toilet paper and and, and yet like I, I don't know it's just it's crazy it's just a flu it's more contagious than the actual flu maybe a little bit more serious but from what I've read China has stopped finding new cases of it like it's already burning itself out it cannot survive in the heat and once summer comes around, it's gonna die out. I've actually seen, um, his mom actually sent me a, um, a list of things about the coronavirus that her friend that's a doctor sent to her, and she told me that I could share with you guys. And I um, plan on sharing with you guys. So I'm gonna put it at the end of this video for you guys to read what her friend, from, it's actually, you know, a doctor or something that, you know, told her. And um, so you guys can have the information we have now. And um, I'm just trying to keep you all aware of what's going on. We know, because you may not know, and our opinions. And maybe you have the same opinions, maybe you don't. That's fine. But again, this is just our opinions. So, I mean, we're up to debates. We're up to talking about it. Glenn will get on there and he'll talk to you about it, how you feel and stuff. But let's be respectful and accept everybody's opinions. And let's not make this into a great big argument in the comments below, you know. Because I agree that not everybody's going to feel the same way as Glenn. Because I don't agree half the time with Glenn. But well, most people don't. But, I mean, hey, it's my life. And if that's how I choose to look at it, that's how I choose to look at it. I don't come down on her because she chooses to freak out about it. I just try and calm her down a little bit. But I don't come at her crazy. I mean, it's your life. Live it how you want it to as long as you're not affecting other people. So the whole purpose of this video, guys, is we wanted to share with you our thoughts and opinions and see your guys' thoughts and opinions and comments. And we just want to interact with you guys more, especially during these hard times, because this is a hard time for our whole nation right now. And it's, it's very scary. So, again, stay safe stay you know out of the public if possible and 
prepare because we don't know how this is going to go. Not so necessarily the virus, but how everybody's reacting, how this could go. That's why today we're going where we're going, and I will be having a vlog. I was going to add that to this video, but this video is actually 20 minutes long now, and we got off topic, <laughs> as always. So, um, look for the vlog of today, and it's coming very soon, probably after this. And um, I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye! Peace.